I was born and bred in West Ham, East London. Uh, my family moved to Leighton later on when I was about 10. Uh, grew up there till I was about 14, 15, and then uh, we moved to Chinkford in East London. Uh, Hines Park, Chinkford, near enough there. It's uh, quite a nice area, actually. God knows why they let us look down there, because there's a golf course everywhere, and the Beckhams live up the road from us and all that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice area, so I grew up around there, but the thing is, is like, you, you still gravitate to where you grew up with, so I used to hang out in sort of East London and, well, West Ham and Walthamstow and places like that, where we also all just be together, like a load of us, so that's the areas. It's got to be the East End or nothing. I went to, my first school was Thomas Gamble School in Walthamstow, uh, East London. Uh, then as you get older, about 11 years old, I went to a place called George Mitchell, it was a good time there. Um, a bloke called, um, oh, I've got his bleeding name, Les. Uh, he used to be like the West Ham goalkeeper and all. His old man was a janitor. So like we, we all went to school together. I started. Then I went on to Leighton County High. Leighton County High was where I first met Steve. Steve was just leaving school as I was just joining it. So it's all on from there. You know what I mean? But I got expelled from Cardinal Wiseman and a few other places as well. So there you go. I mean, I know Maiden was playing the circuit, but they had like, other singers, they had Paul Day and um, Denny Wilcox and all that, and a few other members. Um, me and my mate Loopy, Steve, who became Maiden's drum tech, yeah? Um, we're both punkers, we're playing in a punk band, like the paedophiles and stuff, like we were messing about. And we had a mate we used to see down at a local pub, a bloke called Trevor Sewell. So, Trev knew Steve and all that, and seen Maiden, he sort of said, oh, they're looking for a singer. And I went down to see him and we walked out of there after about 10 minutes, we was laughing our asses off. We were like, we're, we're punks and that weren't really our scene, you know what I mean? Anyway, after a couple of months later, I sort of met up with Steve and that and started talking and that, went around his house. Um, I just waited a bit to go down for an interview, an uh, interview, like a rehearsal and that, and have a, have a jam. And I'm sitting there trying to sing songs like I've got no idea what they are, something by Deep Purple or something. So we've done that. I, 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 sort of knew the song vaguely, but just sort of ummed it and awed it and went through. And then Steve come round in, in the Sunday afternoon and sort of said, well, you know, we tried a few other guys, but you got the job if you want it. And I'm like, well, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest with you. Um, wasn't that interested, but then I see Steve a bit more and then we went round his house and we started to write together. And as soon as we started writing, there was something there. Um, regardless, Maiden are fantastic musicians, there's no two ways about it. Even in them early days, Steve's got the head right. He's, because of his influences of, you know, like, he does like some of these sort of bands, which, you know, like Utopia and Yes and stuff, like, sort of quite progressive. So to so play that music, you've got to be some sort of a musician. And Steve's always been a natural talent for it, so he's fantastic for that. It worked with me being naive and not really knowing as a punk singer and a punk vocalist more than anything else. When it joined together, it was fantastic. It was, it was brilliant. So there you go, that's it. That was it, the start of it. It was great. Excuse me, cheers everyone. Well, I can't really say personally about the rest of the guys in the band musical influences. I, I know my own was all punk, yeah. Um, I was probably the biggest UK subs groupie ever. And it's, it's ironic that me and Charlie half are quite good friends in that now. But, um, says I should be this little snotty nosed punk who used to go around following them everywhere from about 11 or 12 years old. Uh, that was fantastic. Um, I know Steve likes things like Todd Rundgren and stuff like that. Um, he does like a little bit more of the, um, I don't know what you sort of call that music. What is it? Progressive, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, but then that would be Steve all over because he's a, he's a bloody great musician and that would be a challenge to him to play something like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's great and Maiden is quite a complex band regardless of, even now, you know, they, they put quite complex things. That's, that's what made it work with Maiden. We was like a metal band with a punk vocalist with quite complex songs, you know what I mean? Even the, even the early ones, like the first Maiden album, was like still some good little time changes and stuff in there, which most of the heavy metal bands wasn't doing. That's what made us what we was. So I'd say Steve's was progressive stuff and, you know, like sticks and stuff like that. and. But I can't really say there's other stuff he obviously likes. Well, I know Dave is a big um, like Deep Purple fan and stuff like that, and likes Hendrix and stuff like that. Because me and Dave actually went to Hendrix's uh, grave out in Seattle. 
I was just wondering if I'd go for a pee. I was peeing myself. I thought, no, I better not do that. <laughs> but, um, oh, Dave loved it. It was great. And it was nice to see me mate go to visit one of his heroes. You know, like, I was just standing around like, but there you go. It's one of the things. So the influences is all there. I think we, we had, the, the one main influence was, was the actual thing Iron Maiden itself as the entity, as the band. Uh, everyone's influence was outside. We didn't sound like anybody else. So all them influences came to nothing when you're writing. And it's just, just, just happened. It's, it's so weird. It, it, I'm trying to do this to you now and explain this to you. It's so difficult, but it just happened. It was um, a phenomenon, if you like. I said that quite right. Right, yeah, it's a phenomenon. <laughs> That's it.